how does my relationship with God flow into my life, my yeah, work? Your daily work, yeah. Completely. There is a lot of correlation there. Um, <laughs> I think that uh, when my spiritual life is at its healthiest, I am a much better, uh, more effective counselor. Um, I find that when I am in touch with God, when I um, am praying, when I am engaging with my spiritual life, engaging with spiritual practices, I'm able to, to listen. Uh, I'm able to offer students more of me. Um, whereas when I'm, when I'm not as engaged, when I'm not as in touch with God, um, I tend to, I tend to pull back a bit. Uh, and so I think it's important essentially to practice what I preach. You know, I, I talk with students a lot about not only developing academically, um, but developing spiritually. Um, and so if I'm challenging, encouraging my students to develop and grow spiritually, well, I sure better be doing that myself. I will credit my grandmother, who um, was really a woman of very deep faith and would always, I remember her like saying like, oh, Becca, you have to like find God even when you're scrubbing the floors. So it really is about my, uh, I think I really remind myself on a daily basis to find God in all things, even in my most difficult student or even in my most difficult colleague, um, to uh, just be able to remember kind of the goodness that is inherent to them. Right? Well, it all starts with the Imago Dei, right? The image of God. So if, if every one of us is truly created in the image of God, then that's a great place to start. Uh, it's, a, it's a place of non-judgment. It's a place of saying, wow, you and I are in this together. We're peers, we're, we're the sons and daughters of God, and that's a powerful, powerful thing. So I think my faith, um, well, I, I think being grounded in God, however that plays itself out in someone's life, but being grounded in God truly a, a faithful person, um, whatever your relationship, like I think about, you know, I think about the Holy Trinity and about how people relate differently. And some people, it's about God, some it's about Jesus, some it's about the Spirit. It doesn't really matter. It's one sort of mysterious reality. But the fact that, um, that if you're grounded in transcendent reality, if you're grounded in God, then I think there has to be there a deep joy and a deep hope um not so much happiness and optimism those are, i think are you know are society's ways of, of trying to make sure everything's okay but a real deep joy and a deep sense of hope um and so faith faith in the presence of god is the avenue almost the door um to entering into community entering into service um if we don't have faith the rest isn't really going to come. And if it does come, it's not necessarily going to be as genuine as we may want it to be. Christianity is based on the incarnation, God becoming human, God becoming one of us. So it seems to me there's nothing more important than acknowledging that. And one of the ways De La Salle did that is to teach his brothers and his students to remember they are constantly in the holy presence of God. Whether that's out in nature, whether that's in church, whether that's in an intense conversation with someone, whether that's at a wedding or at a funeral, somehow, in some mysterious, gracious way, God is present, and that's what needs to be celebrated. And in terms of teacher-student, I think it's, a, it's one thing that a mentor, a teacher can help a young person come to understand and appreciate and value.